Learning is just often, not just, but often paid just lip service. Oh, you want to learn? Okay, go on a two-day course. All right, happy now? No. All right, I know of organizations with 600 people, 600 employees, where the training budget for the year was lower than the salary of the training manager for 600 people. Now, I figured that one out. I won't mention names in this case. Some people will, sorry, I'm over, over here. Some people will also tell you that the preferred vehicle for organizational learning is the team. Teams, as in operational teams, as in project teams, whatever the case. By doing projects, you learn. You learn things other than by being an operation. That learning needs to be shared in the organization, not just with other project teams, but also to operations. It needs to be consolidated with perhaps a drive from a high level. They need to become part of our culture. If we do that, we can implement the learning into our new projects, into our new operations as well, and we may find that our individuals are motivated to go and learn in their own right. Individuals may come and say, I want to learn about this. I want to learn about project management. Oh, I want to, I want to do this, I want to do that. And you, you get this buzz going. Dr. Gretton, Linda Gretton, I think she calls it, she calls it hotspots, right, where people are keen, people see results, people want to learn. I want, yeah, you get that drive. And it's not normally the whole organization, but you get little pockets in organizations where you have small groups of people that actually seem to have this flame burning. Right. And she talks about how this flame erupts and how this flame sometimes dies and how to keep it alive if you can. Linda Gretton, Hotspots. You know the book? Okay. Another holiday book. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. I have run, run out of time. Uh, Project-based organization, the teams of boundaries is in a way, it's, it's a theory, I haven't come across it much, this is one book that tries to propose it, it has certain values in that excellent learning would occur in a combination of what would be in the extreme, be a project team with many people, not many people, but a few people from different, different backgrounds coming together, so with, with very little overlap of thought but doing a common job, and the community of practice with people with similar jobs coming together from different departments to share uh, experiences. So this book would propose that an, a good team, a learning team, would be in the middle of the two. Right? I won't go into too much detail. Uh, if you're interested, uh, World Science Books, Project-Based Organization in the Knowledge-Based Society. Apart from this graph, there was very little else of interest in the book, in my opinion, except for the explanation chapter of the graph. All right, but uh, I forget who said this. If one book gives you one good idea, it's a very good book. All right, so that's exactly my opinion. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your, for your patience. All right, over and over.